Hey guys, Jason here checking in on silver. So in the last video we talked about how we're close to the top of the range here for our weekly downtrend. And the more time you spend up toward the resistance levels, when you're inside the range, pretty much everything is going to be dictating downside action. And when you're down underneath and you're hitting support levels, everything is going to be pushing you up. You're bound between this range until that range is broken. So the range is not even broken on silver yet, and we need to be playing uh, towards the bear case because right now it favors the bears and we were watching for gold to see if we can get a nice break of that daily EQ the, uh, the gold daily had pulled back from its uh, uh, level so it has established itself a nice lower high on the daily and is now pulling back pretty aggressively dragging silver down with it so unless we get a bull uh, break on the gold daily EQ I think that silver is going to be staying inside this range for now. So we must play this as if we are expecting downside action on silver. So spending time up here, of course, we're going to see a lot of pressure. And we're seeing that manifest today in a nice little red candlestick. Hourly time frame, what are we looking at? We have established this miniature uh, hourly uptrend. We're seeing that major resistance around... 1533 still coming into action pushing that price down now hourly support does exist at 1504 lose that it's 1494 1489 and below that we don't really have very much for quite a ways back so we'll be looking at 1478 for the four hour time frame support if they somehow manage to pull things around and maintain a higher low over 1494 the four hour bulls do Looking for resistance back up here at 1533, that zone of resistance, break through that, then you've got to deal with that big long-term weekly downtrend, get over that, and then, well, who knows, sky's the limit pretty much. I'm very excited to see if that happens, and if uh, the bull gold bulls manage to pull things off and bring silver with it, there's going to be a lot of trading opportunities. Until that happens, we need to watch and wait and wait for that trade. That's it for today on Silver. Thanks so much for listening. If you have other metals you want to look at, I'm happy to do that. Let me know.